Hi guys, welcome back here. I'm here to teach you today how to make a small keyboard that plays some sounds. So the, the, what we are going to learn today is how to play sounds. This is a small keyboard I made today in just like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You can see. That's just playing notes and playing notes. And I can just control it with my keyboard. So just a real life keyboard here. And I'm going to teach you how to do it. It's fairly simple. So let's start from scratch. Just putting this back here and build another one. First thing first, you have to just drag some chords component here, yeah, chord shapes, and create a shape you want. So I'm just making a very simple shape. This one, uh, we'll just add a twist to the keyboard, something like this. Uh, this one, rotating the shape here. Grab my solder on it, and then solder all the pieces together and like this okay that's my my small gadget here i want to move this one here and as you've seen uh, the power button has been removed soldering thing so i just placed another one we need a power button otherwise it will not just power up <coughs> uh, well that's it so i will start placing some keys here so it's not output it's an input device okay here so i will start placing pressing shift you can zoom in you know you already know that probably so i'm dragging the first the c note and the c sharp here and the d note of course uh, um just placing this okay a little better i'm just placing the buttons in this way the led buttons this way so they are just um, the naming will be LED button zero for the first one, one for the second, and and so on. This will help me a lot during the creation process of this gadget. I will show you why just later on. It will take just a few seconds to drop all the buttons here. It should be oh, I can place the buttons now. It should be eleven buttons or like not twelve buttons. Sorry. To get the full the full scale one octave here so this goes here like this and the last one here okay that's enough so oh sorry i do have all my notes here um, just to clarify what they do i can just spray paint this one and i really don't like this color this gray here so i'm just Better, oh, better, better, better. I like it. Oh, why it is a little bit. And since I don't need anything else in the device, and the device is rather empty, I will just make some other color, some more color here. It's like something like this. Maybe here. Let's see. Yeah, it's nicer. Okay, okay, it's enough. Like it. Then dropping here, opening up my asset list. And just for making it more beautiful, a little bit more beautiful, I'm just loading uh, our logo. Editing logo, we have our sprite editor here and just switching to the print mode. Selecting this and printing our logo. I want to stick my logo here. I'm sorry, but okay, that's way better than before. Now we are going to learn how to play an audio sample. To play an audio sample, first thing we need is an audio sample. So I'm loading this WAV file, which has a, is a C note. You can just select it and play it. You see, it's a C note. It's very simple. You can. Uh, import WAV files or MP3 files, and they can be a music or a small note like this one. Doesn't care. Okay. So mm, now to play note, I need a CPU for my code here. I'm just putting this CPU. 
right here and an audio chip uh, there's a small difference in between audio chips now this will play only four channels so four four what, files together you can play just four files together this can play 16 files together and this 32 uh, since i want to play at least uh, four five maybe 11 sounds together i will place this one here so now opening up my here my code here just switch this way so you can see it is a little bit better we will start like assigning some variables so local au it's an audio audio chip i remove my mouse from here equals gdt dot audio chip zero this is just for shortening my code it's not needed that this tells that au is an audio chip and this is helps with the autocomplete and this AU means I'm addressing GDT dot audio chip zero. So my code will be shorter. And so local SND, which is an audio sample equal here. I have to get out the sample will load. I have to load another sample. This get out the sample comes here yeah, to help me. And it was like C note dot wav. Hope. I hope that's the right name. I will check it later. And then I will do something like this. Local KB, those are my keyboard keys, equals uh, KB, same column is, um, well, this tells that is uh, a table made of LAD button. So it's a table containing LAD buttons. And I will do something like this. The table will contain GDT dot LAD button zero, comma, and because I'm lazy, I'm just going to copy. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This should be good. We don't need a semicolon. The last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 11 okay so now my table kb contains all the buttons here and i'll show you why so basically now in function update which is updated each single time tick i can do something like this for key to check for it's used to iterate through values so equals one two the comma means they will take it one two uh, the length of my KB table which is 12 so the value uh, do here and, and the value K to check will assume inside this four loop it will be one then two then three then four until 12 so the length of KB if I add some new members to KB okay it will just go through all the members and now I can write something like if KB square bracket KB sorry square bracket uh, key to check close square bracket dot button down so if the keyboard number one two three and so on for is pressed then what should I do here here I can do audio chip dot play we can see here it plays an audio sample and the channel number number so uh, play my audio sample is SND and my channel is zero for now so if everything is correct it seems to be I can just turn this on and play you can hear pressing a key I'm just so how can I just play different notes there are two ways to do it I can load uh, different audio samples one audio sample for each note and play the correct one otherwise I can use this math method I'm doing just going to copy something from my code here because it's a constant I can't remember at all so it's 
local P2 node, pitch 2 node number is 1.05946. So now here, inside here, I can do something like this local pitch, I'm defining this variable pitch, which is a number equals p to n exponent key to check. Why? Because uh, it works like this. The, I have to change the pitch to p to n multiplied by the number of semitones that are going to separate me from this base node. So this is a C and it would be uh, p to n multi um, exponent 1. So one basically and then the second it will be um, the second here it will be two three four five and we we'll change the pitch accordingly to play a note so here I can say a u semicolon and set channel pitch so I'm setting the channel pitch to pitch the pitch I just calculated comma for the channel zero so that's the pitch I want for the channel zero. If I turn this on, you can hear the note changing. Good enough. So it works. Uh, one thing I want to do is to light up those buttons while I'm pressing them. It's nicer to see so I'm going here outside this and I can also write KB uh, square brackets key to check same as dot LED state the state of this LED which is lit or unlit equals KB square brackets key to check uh, button state so pressed or released true or false if it press or release so I just turn it on and okay that's nicer yeah. just a couple of things I want to add I want to use my real life computer keyboard here to play sounds though I don't want to press them because I am not able to play multiple notes pressing here so I will just just close this little while and we'll grab an input chip the one with the key is the keyboard input chip so I just flip this because I like to place them here I will place here my keyboard chip and then close the drawer go back here to the multi tool select the first key I want to map this one to A this one to W this one to S and this one to E and so on I will map only three keys now then you can do it by yourself but selecting the first one here in the inspector I go for the input source keyboard chip zero and I select the key to bind to bind to them so it will be A and this will be W so input chip keyboard chip I'm going to check for W which should be here W and then the third one input source input chip and it is will be S so going here s okay um that's already done i can turn this on i can press like this or i move my mouse here and use my real life keyboard and it works it's fairly easy the only problem we have here if i press two keys together now now that i can you can only hear the second note not the first one even if i press three so I should switch the channel here to play this note on the third channel, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3 and so on. Super easy, I can go here and number of the channel will be the number of the key I'm pressing. So key to check here, set channel pitch, uh, set channel pitch, pitch and key to check which is my channel and even here the same channel of course, key to check. So turning this on and pressing the first one the second one and both together you can hear there I have just all the notes going together so that's been pretty easy you can map all, all the other keys if you want and well that ends the tutorial you can see the code here is very simple
but you can add whatever you want. You can play different sample, create different sound bank with different sounds. So whatever you want, and it's you can see pretty easy. A few lines of code. Anyway, thank you for being here. It's been a pleasure to make this video, and I will come back with another video probably today or tomorrow. See you. <laughs> Bye.